everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about patinkin real balance effect theory what do you mean by real balance real balance means real purchasing power of money that people hold real balance means real purchasing power of money that people hold as prices increase real balance of fall that means as prices increase purchasing power fall because now people can buy less amount of goods and services with the same amount of money as purchasing power fall then individual and businesses spend less money obviously now goods become very expensive that's why businesses and individuals spend less amount of money as a result demand fall when demand fall prices fall wages fall eventually this uh, situation create disequilibrium in economy but when prices fall real balance increase that means when prices fall purchasing power increase as purchasing power increase that means now individual and businesses will spend more uh, amount of money as a result demand for goods and services also increase eventually economy will reach at their equilibrium point so here we see how real balance effect our economy now we will see real balance effect with the help of this diagram on x axis we have income y axis we have interest rate here we have is and lm curves is curve shows equilibrium in goods market lm curve shows equilibrium in money market our initial equilibrium point is a and initial interest rate is o r1 initial income is o y1 but full employment point is c and full employment income is o y f that's why difference between y1 and y f will be called unemployment in economy if there is unemployment that means labor supply is more than labor demand if labor supply is more than labor demand that means wages fall as wages fall prices also fall obviously when wages of labor are very less they will do less demand eventually prices will also fall as prices fall real balance will increase as real balance increase lm curve shift rightward this is our new lm curve initially our new lm curve touches at this b point at this b point you can see interested fall from r1 to r0 as interested fall investment increase as investment increase output increase employment increase income also increase that's why income increase from y1 to y2 but our full employment point is c and full employment income is y f that means still there is unemployment difference between y2 and y f will be called unemployment in economy if still unemployment that means further wages fall prices fall and real balance increase as real balance increase demand for goods and services will also increase as demand for goods and services increase our is curve will shift rightward this is our new is curve and economy will achieve their full employment point c so now economy reach at their full employment c so here we can see real balance effect impact our economy sometime by creating disequilibrium or sometime by creating equilibrium now we are going to talk about criticism some people said real balance effect is not applicable in case of equilibrium situations real balance effect ignore other real wealth and income effect that occurs when price change and real balance effect doesn't explain about uh, price stability means uh, real balance effect only talks about increase or decrease in price but doesn't explain how price stability can be achieved in economy so this is all about real balance effect i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video by take care